dear friends today we are going to uh, discuss uh, the most important topic uh, in the uh, chemistry is carburetants these are the elements uh, which plays a very important role uh, in the uh, in the chemistry of uh, in the in the inorganic chemistry and um, here we will discuss uh, the silent feature of borane and carburetant and their molecules form uh, with different uh, uh, elements i will start uh, from the borane and i will go to the carburetant first we need to understand that what is borane and uh, then we will uh, study the carburetant first all the hydrides all the of boron are, co are called as borane and all the mix hydrides of boron and carbon are known as carburetant that means uh, all those uh, molecule which are made up of uh, only boron and hydrogen are comes under the category of borane and the same if a molecule is having uh, boron carbon along with the hydrogen atoms then this category will be termed as carburetant there are uh, many other uh, boranes are also reported in the chemistry just like uh, hydride of gallium knows that uh, gallium uh, gallium and uh, hydride of silicon know that silane Uh, these are the uh, basic uh, molecules which generally occurs in the nature or uh, can also be synthesized by different uh, chemical and physical uh, methods so here uh, first we will discuss that why is uh, boron is important uh, um, basically uh, when you will see the chemistry of boron you will understand that boron uh, boron has a high as a high melting point high melting point it is generally found in found in iso isohedral uh, state and the molecular formula the molecular formula is b12 so dear friends now we will see uh, the structure of uh, this molecule so uh, the general structure of this uh, molecule is like this this will be the isohedral geometry and the point group of this molecule will be ih the total number of faces uh, uh, in this molecule faces is 20 total number of vertices is 12 and uh, it is well known for its higher higher symmetry this is the higher symmetry molecule so here can see that this molecule belong to the icosahedral or isohedral point group uh, which is represented by ih and uh, total number of faces in this molecule will be 20 total number of vertices in this molecule will be 12 and molecule is also very stable because of its higher symmetry molecule and higher symmetry uh, in this molecule makes it more stable as compared to other elements the solid state geometry the solid state geometry of this molecule is rhombohedral 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 geometry so this molecule have a rhombohedral geometry which gives its more stable structure and this structure is also very stable in solid state now we will have a simple structure of this molecule like bs3 suppose we have a molecule general formula is bh3 which is a, a fundamental borane it is a fundamental fundamental boro hydride fundamental boro hydride if you see uh, its structure then its structure is like this its structure is fine like structure fine like structure its point group is d3h it is also a electron deficient species so we can term as it electrophile or can also uh, name it uh, name this molecule as a uh, lewis acid lewis acid so if we have a simple structure like bs3 so these are the basic properties which which it it has basically it, its structure is fan like structure its point group is d3h it, it is its its nature as a electron deficient molecule and so it will act as a electrophile and uh, all the this type of molecule will comes under the category of lewis acid because of its electron deficient nature so uh, if it is a um, lewis acid then what will happen if it gets a molecule like electron rich Say so, like uh, it is react with lithium hydride, so it will give a lithium salt of borohydride. Or if it is react with NS three, a very well known reaction, then it will uh, form a adduct BS three 
NS3, this lone pair of electron will be shifted to the BS3 molecule. Suppose uh, we are reacting this molecule BS3 with the carbonyl molecule, then a borohydride carbonyl complex will form, and it is just because of the electron rich nature of uh, the, these molecules. This, this is also an electron rich molecule, this is also an electron rich molecule. So, uh, these electron rich molecules immediate will form and adduct with the um, BS3 molecule because this is uh, Lewis, uh, Lewis acid, and these two will act as a Lewis base. The another property of this borane are uh, when uh, these uh, when this borane this borane exposed to air it will form borane anhydride borane anhydride. So in a simple reaction uh, suppose we have a molecule uh, which is general which general formula is B2S6 which is generally known as diborane and uh, when it react with the NS3 molecule which is also act as a Lewis base because it is an electron rich molecule then boron nitride H form and its general general formula uh, is also known as inorganic benzene. And if the if you see the structure of this molecule, then it will be like this. It will be formed like this, and here will be charge of plus. And its general name is boron nitrite. Boron nitrite. These are the uh, fundamentals of uh, the uh, the borane and uh, borane molecule. Now we will go for the classification of this molecule. Classification of borane. So the following category is generally exist in the case of uh, borane. The so first is the clozoborane. Second is the nidoborane. Third is the arachnoborane. And fourth is the hypoborane. And fifth is the conjunctoborane. So uh, we can classify uh, the borane in the following category. The first is the clozoborane, second is the nidoborane, third is the arachnoborane, fourth is the hypoborane, and fifth is the conjunctoborane. So uh, uh, we will discuss it one by one. Uh, but if you will see uh, the uh, clozoborane, so its, it's, its structure is close type. Yani ki, uh, its, its geometry is close type. And if uh, you will discuss the uh, nidoborane, so its geometry or general structure will be nest like. And uh, if you will uh, discuss the arachnoborane, so its structure will, uh, will be spider web like and uh, if you will uh, consider the structure of hypoborane so it will be it, it will be the anionic form if you will discuss the uh, borane of conjuncto uh, so uh, its structure will depend on the uh, on any of the uh, two these borane means it, 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 its structure it depend on the uh, above any of the two uh, two borane mixture of two borane any of the two borane structure mixture so, if you will consider the general formula of uh, this molecule, so it will be Bn Hn, Bn Hn 2 minus, where n is equal to 6 to 12. If you will uh, uh, consider the general formula for uh, uh, next type structure, so it will be Bn Hn plus 4 or Bn Hn plus 3 minus. If you will consider the structure of uh, spider like uh, arachnoborin, it will be like uh, Bn Hn plus 6. And if you will see the uh, structure of hypoborane, it will be Bn Hn plus 8 Hn plus 8. These are the general formula. If you have a clozoborane, so its general formula will be Bn Hn. Uh, whole will get uh, uh, minus 2 charge. Uh, if you if you have a nidoborane, so it, uh, its general formula will be Bn Hn plus 4 or uh, Bn Hn plus 3 total minus charge. Arachnoborane will be uh, the general formula of arachnoborane will be Bn Hn plus 6. Hypoborane have the molecular, have the general molecular formula is Bn Hn plus 8. So these are the general formula for the formation of carborane. So now uh, we will discuss uh, one by one uh, by uh, taking the example of uh, some boranes. Now we will go for the structure of a uh, few borane. Like suppose you have a molecular molecule like B2S6 like B2S6. Now its structure will be like this. molecular structure will be like this. If you see uh, the general electronic configuration of boron will be 5b, 2s, 2p, 
boron in excited state it will be 1 and 2 3 so the general hybridization for boron will be s p 2 so the general formula will be s p 2 so uh, the, the, these boron having the, uh, the general uh, hybridization uh, general uh, these uh, these two boron have the general hybridization is sp2 now uh, from here uh, you can see in this structure there is a possibility uh, um, a number of possible bond is uh, one is bh bond second is bh2 bond first is the bh bond second possibility is the bh2 bond And third possibility is the B H B bond. So there are two type of bonding are for, uh, are generally possible in uh, this type of, uh, this type of uh, borane. So now we can summarize uh, these uh, borane in a simple uh, in a simple formula, which is generally known as Stokes code. Now I will discuss the Stokes code in detail. Suppose uh, uh, we have a general uh, general formula of Stokes code is like S T Y X. Suppose we have a general formula is STYX. Here, uh, this code is uh, working for only for the borane molecule. Suppose this STYX represents the specific bonds. Suppose uh, S, uh, S is representing the number of number of B, H, B bonds, number of T is representing the number of B, B, B bonds. Y is representing the number of B, B bonds. And X is representing the number of B, H2 bonds. So suppose uh, we have a number of these bonds, so we can generate the general formula of uh, any of the borane. Or if we have the uh, borane molecular formula, we can generate the STYX code for each of the borane molecule. Now again, I will go to the structure of B2S6, which was like this. When you will record the proton NMR of this molecule, of this molecule, you will get two signal. That means uh, there are two type of proton. Two type of protons available one is the one is the bridging hydrogen and second is the terminal hydrogen these two hydrides gives the uh, two signal for uh, this uh, this molecule to hnmr signal this is also a very important question which is generally you can get in the competitive examination. Suppose uh, in the next time uh, uh, when you are doing any of the study you, will, you are asking uh, anyone is asking about the uh, number of uh, uh, H1 NMR signal present in the B2S6 molecule. So the answer will be 2 NMR because there is two type of hydride molecule are present. These are the uh, in the same environment, but if we uh, if we talk about this uh, these two molecules, so these two uh, hydrogen uh, atoms have a different chemical environment. So these two hydrogen will give a uh, another signal. So in B two S six molecule there will be two signal. Now again we will come to the uh, to our previous topic which was uh, STYX code where STYX represent the different type of bonds present in the B two S six molecule. Now we will proceed from here. If you see in a BHB bond, we can also name uh, these bond as a, uh, a three center two electron bond. These BHB bond can also be represented as three center two electron uh, two electron bond. Uh, if you are uh, writing a BBB bond, so this type of bond also considered as a three center two electron. And if uh, you are asking about the uh, BB bond, so it will be two center. Two electron bond, where in BH two molecule it will be three center two electron bond. 
So now here you can easily uh, understand the, these HTYX code generate the different uh, different type of bond present in the uh, present in the borane molecule, uh, which is also uh, also uh, named as the C, the C center two electron bond, C center two electron bond, or two center two electron bond and three center two electron bond, depending on the nature of the bond. Now we will proceed. Uh, like uh, suppose we have a molecular formula, uh, uh, the general molecular formula of a borane, you know, which is uh, B4H10, and uh, we have to control the structure. So first, uh, we have to generate, uh, we have to generate its STYX code. So if uh, we want to calculate this uh, STYX code, so we have to draw its structure. So suppose this molecule can be drawn like. This. this molecule like this there will be one permanent bond bridging bond bridging hydrogen bridging hydrogen bridging hydrogen this will have a two hydride this will also have a two hydride this will have a single hydrate. So now the, the uh, we can uh, uh, count the number of boron. One, two, three, four. Total four boron. That is four B four and ten hydrate. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Total ten hydrate is also available. So uh, its Stikes code will be S is represented for the B H B bond, which is. VHB1, VHB2, VHB3, VHB4. So it's uh, S4, 4, T4. If you will consider the T, then T is the BBB bond. B, B, B bonds. This BBB bond will be 0. And now Y is represented for the BB bond. BB bond. And this BB bond will be 1. And X represent the BH2 bond and this BH2 bond is 2. VHH that is 2. The so total X stack code will be STY X code will be 4 0 1 2. So for V4H10, for V4H10, the X tax code will be 4 0 one two. Now there are many uh, other molecules when uh, draw for the Stax code. Uh, a few of the general formula is uh, suppose uh, we have B six H ten, B six H ten, B five H eleven, B five H nine. These are the molecule where we can generate the Stax code for this molecule. Now uh, I will just write down the Stax code of these molecules. Suppose we have, I will draw a series. Suppose we, we have B4H10. The so Stax code will be 4012. Suppose we have B5H11. Its Stax code will be 3203. Suppose we have B5H9, its stax code will be 414120. B6H10, its stack code will be 4220. These are the molecules where, where uh, the following will be stax code of this molecule. So these stax code can determine their structure. Structure can also determine by using stacks code. By using stacks code. I will discuss the uh, uh, carburetor molecule in my next lecture. Thank you.